For this edition of Demo Derby Tech, I thought I'd go over training mounts, what people do, and what I tend to do. This is the last mount I ran on, a uh, modified Turbo 350 mount that I used on my 400. Uh, you can see the rubber's missing. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people do run it this way. You know, basically, you just, you know, run it like that, even though it might be busted, and just chain it down. Most people nine wire it because the chain will come loose or it doesn't, you know. If you sit there nine wired, you can really get it down tight. But you know what I do, and I run the chain too, because the way the chain mounts on here, it still allows it to pivot. It's at a pivot point. You know, it's right above the mount where it's going to pivot. But what I use to make a mount for pivots, very simple. This is one that's been ran already. I thought I'd show it to you before I straightened it, so you're going to get an idea of what it does. Basically, all it does is bend. And then I take a plate. Well, the nut to it, uh, I used eighth inch. I wouldn't go any thicker than this. It's almost th uh, three sixteenths. That way, it can still bend and give. And this actually works for me. You know, it'll bend, allow the motor and tranny to come up and belly out. You know, I've used this particular mount on three different cars and multiple derbies, and you usually end up with a bumper, you know, above the roof of the car, and you can't even see out the front anymore. And I've yet to break the tail shaft. Get the tail shaft off right now just because I did uh, break a rear end and spit a drive shaft out. It went in and out a few times and it just tore these teeth up enough to where the yoke wouldn't slide in and out. I managed to hammer the drive shaft back in for the next year we get it going, but don't typically want to do that. Another thing I've been doing lately to come up with is I found this big spacer. It's a problem I came across. I noticed I had these scratches on here, which isn't that bad. But you know, that just goes in there and lifts it up just that much. But the problem I noticed was I was beating the tar out of my yoke and the welds. So I mean, before it becomes a problem, this is kind of what you learn and keeps you going and actually allows you to win. Instead of beating this differential out and breaking it, you know, I just stuck that mount and extra space in there. Still works the same, still allows it to pivot. I also take out the stock stud is less than a half inch, I forget what diameter it is, but I go to this half inch diameter butt and bolt and, you know, weld the nut to the inside. Basically all I do, you know, can either take a torch and a putty knife and heat that up and pick it out or whatever, or <laughs> sitting around the bonfire at night, and if it's legal in your area, just toss it in the edge of the fire where you can find it later, and you'll end up something like this. Nicely cleaned out, take the wire brush to get out perfect. And it's another 400 mount, so I can make another one. That's because I got two engine of trannies coming up, so. Yeah, that's basically it. There you go. Something simple you can do that works. Another trick I came across because these uh, tail shafts, you know, you're lucky to get one that isn't stripped out, so. But I noticed a 3 8 nut fits in there perfectly. And the 3 8 bolt. This way, you know, you can tighten it down, it's nice and secure, and you don't even have to worry about that nut spinning because it locks in there pretty darn good. So, there you go, another trick. So, you don't have to, once you don't have to worry about st stripping these bolts out because you're using, you know, 20 year old, 30 year old stuff. Just run the bolt, uh, 3 8 bolt, all the way through it. Uh, I forget what the length is right here, but you can figure it out. You almost use whatever you have. Just use spacers. That'll give you something solid in the training up to. So that's about it. I could make one more for the spare. But like I said, I'll just take and straighten that one out and run it again. It hasn't been a problem yet, so there you go. Cheap, easy. Anyone can do it. See ya.